Japan always delivers in the autumn. It's incredible the variety of colors you get on the leaves of just so many trees. Welcome to the outdoors. We are in the western part of Tokyo, still technically Tokyo, but way out west. And if you look at it on a map, it actually goes like pretty far. <laughs> it's still Tokyo. The awesome colors around here are beautiful. We have almost hit the sweet spot. I think there's still maybe a few more days until it really sort of peaks here. But autumn in Japan, my favorite season. So many colors, so many views, and this area is beautiful. So we're out on a bit of a hike. Got recommended um, from a couple of friends who we made through one of my own meetups and uh, they recommended uh, this meetup. So hopefully we can make some friends as well because it's always good to make friends whilst you're traveling. And uh, what better way to do that than outdoors in this glorious weather. Welcome Lewis, thanks for inviting us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What are you shooting on? Uh, Contax G1, found this at a hard off. And I'm gonna shoot today uh, Cinestill 400. So it's gonna be, I think, pretty interesting for maybe the leaves and stuff, because like it has a nice little red hue. So nice. We'll see. 400? Yeah. Really? Actually, yeah, 400 in bright daylight. Is that? <laughs> no, I'll be fine. <laughs> be uh, I think so. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to like to maybe 5.6. So I think with that, I'll okay. come out pretty decent. This is Michelle, by the way. Hello. This is XT20. This is uh, my little hand-me-down from Louise. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did you know, I believe this is the best-selling Fuji camera that ever has been. Yeah. And what lens are you on? Uh, this is the 23, going wide today. Nice. Yeah. Ellie, what are you on? What are you on, mate? What am I on? <laughs> A1 Canon. Are oh, you doing A film today? Film. And do you know what film? Kodak 200. Sweet. Film buddies. Fuji buddies. Yeah, Fuji. Film, film, yeah. We did this route last weekend, but the opposite way. That's so. Fun. Hi Gazimas, hi Gazimas. What on earth are you doing? Turns out there's actually quite a lot of us. I think there's maybe 20, 30 or so. Um, and uh, yeah, I've heard this walk is quite easily done. Um, it's nothing too extreme. Unlike that time Chris Broad took us up a mountain. <laughs> uh, so I think we're, I think we're comfortable in trainers um, and just sort of relax, taking it at a pace, uh, a nice pace that is. And um, yeah, just stopping off, getting some photos. I think about half of us here uh, are taking photos, um, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of film photographers as well. And we're sort of peeking in and out of the light and the shadows. Uh, it's quite hazy still this morning. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens as, uh, as the moisture rises. Uh, not that I know what I'm talking about, of course. But yeah, I'm here for the colors and Japan always delivers in the autumn. It's honestly, it's incredible. The variety of colors you get on the leaves of just so many trees. And what's amazing as well is they change at quite a uh, quite a, a route across the country with it being quite a long country. Things from the north through to the south and more of like an east and west. I guess the, uh, the sort of mountain range in the middle just kind of changes the climate. Um, so you can actually chase the, uh, the autumn colors if you want to, uh, if you plan it. Unfortunately, we arrived just a little bit too late. Um, so we missed a lot of the October colors, 
uh, but luckily for the Tokyo region it's actually mid to late November um, so I always say that's one of the best times to come to Tokyo. In fact, uh, the very first time I came to Japan, which was uh, 2014, it was November time and I loved it so much. And uh, we've been here November time multiple times. I think I counted in my passport the other day. Uh, this is the 14th stamp. Um, so when I say we come to Japan a lot, we come to Japan a lot. <laughs> Turns out it's, uh, it's, not, it's not quite as flat as they made it out to be. We are up the top, ish. <laughs> uh, already kind of lost the rest of the group. And uh, this will be where we find out they took the river route down there. And we've come all the way up. coming down off the mountain now and uh, slowly shedding layers as the sun comes out and the temperature rises. Uh, it's been an odd one this year trying to, <laughs> trying to gauge the temperature. I know it is always a few degrees warmer than the UK, but um, it's just kind of throw me off. Like end of November, you sort of think like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be getting cold. It's gonna be getting cold. And um, it's not. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's been kind of nice and warm and uh, of course good light everywhere uh, all the time but uh, yeah it's warm Okay, the group has gone on ahead, uh, but good things come to those who wait. Uh, I just got a shot of a crane flying under the bridge all the way across. Uh, that is signature. That's like the Japan Airlines logo. Um, just signature bird of Japan. Why do I do this when I'm going downhill? Uh, so we are just crossing into three hours on this hike and uh, loving it. 
as beautiful as this light is, uh, it's kind of difficult to get shots that are different, you know? Like, we've been going at this for three hours or so, and it's, you know, all these little pockets of light, like, it, it really is beautiful. And uh, it's just some, you know, it's nice to take it in. But I do want to get some shots, and uh, I'm always on the lookout now for getting prints as well. Um, I don't know if we got one today. Um, that's just going to be the running theme and agenda. And uh, yeah, we're trying. It's very difficult when things do start to look very similar. Um, so yeah, just trying to find like the different pockets or, you know, just the right branch. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> there is actually a brewery at the end of this walk. And uh, what's so funny is that when Ellie found it, um, by the way, the, uh, the people who organized it, they're called Open Country Club, I think, on Instagram. Yeah, so they, they put together like the whole route and uh, even like a little PDF map and everything. Uh, which was very great because, uh, you know, it helps take out some of the logistical um, planning and other stuff. Uh, we did have to take four trains to get here and it did take close to two hours. <laughs> but, um, you know, early starts are always worth it, um, especially when you've got scenes like this. But the thing I found funny is that on the map where they plotted the route, I had a look on my own Google Maps and I had a few things pinned myself, including this brewery. and. Um, Chances are we're going to end up there. So I am looking forward to that beer. As you probably know on my Instagram, uh, I post a lot of beers and other things. And um, I'm keen to know what the craft beer situation, like what's changed in Japan in the three years that I haven't been here. Um, because it was starting to grow, you know, a bit of momentum. Granted, it's still probably about 10 years behind what the UK is, uh, which means it's probably about 15 close to 20 years behind what the US is. Um, so yeah, kind of on par with how Australia was with the craft beer, I think. And um, yeah, it was going good. So three years, a lot can happen. Oh, but man, I am wanting that beer. Very bright, very bright, very bright, very bright, very bright. So as I post a lot about the, uh, the beers on Instagram, I always get good recommendations from people. This particular one, I can't remember if I already had it on my map, but it's definitely been recommended to me by a few people as well. Um, so we will check it out. Lewis, you ready for a beer? I'm ready for a crispy <laughs> beer. Yeah, yeah, oh crazy. man. Do you know, we've been, we've been going for like four hours almost Have now. Have we? Yeah, it's it been. It like we just started to be honest, kind of. But yeah, it, the, the inclines were yeah. hard oh, man. <laughs> for me. <laughs> I'm going to check on my watch later and see yeah, what yeah. the, uh, what Calories the and stuff altitude and yeah. oh, uh, yeah. what's, the, what's the term? Uh, Height, altitude, um, elevation. Elevation, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see what that was. There is a town, there must be beer. We made it. It's always like, no, I want you in the shop. <laughs> Let's hope that's not as dangerous as it sounds. Who's going for black home? Yes. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Made it. Made it. Almost, almost didn't. We <laughs> can't. Bye. Bye. <laughs>